Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to an exciting <laughs> and brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Uh, yeah, it went down this morning. Gibson officially filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, uh, which is not like bankruptcy. It's to protect them from bankruptcy. But uh, yeah, things are going down there. Uh, shareholders are taking over. Henry is still... CEO in charge, at least through the transition here. But it looks like somebody's somebody's on the way out, which is great for my hat sales, I gotta tell you. I packed <laughs> a lot of them last night. If you were waiting for a hat, I underestimated the marketplace. I sold out very, very quickly and they're, they're back in stock, they're on the way. And I added black, I added the black hat, Jen, oh. at like one o'clock in the morning last night. And this morning I woke up too, they filed. Wow. Black hat's available now too. Oh, uh, let's see. That should be interesting to watch here. Uh, stay tuned for more news on, uh, go to the All Guitar Network too, uh, if you haven't downloaded that, because we're doing news on there. Talked all about that today. Um, man, hey, just one quick shout out, because they dropped the kid's name in here too. May 1st, uh, happy birthday, Steve, uh, in London. Watches with his six-year-old daughter, Freya, every day. I'm a sucker for the kids. Thanks for watching. Hey, Freya, tell your dad happy birthday. Happy birthday. We're back in the Telecaster business. Oh. And it's got an F-hole in it. Ooh. I know. Starting the week off great. Why don't you guys <laughs> come back, check this out. It's already open from 1978. Original Fender Telecaster Thin Line. Series 2. Original Olympic white finish maple neck. That Olympic white has just perfectly aged to a beautiful shade of buttery yellow. This is my favorite. Of course, two wide range. Seth Lover designed humbucking pickups. My favorite color. You like the yellow guitars. I love yellow. Yeah. So we haven't had one of these in a while. Let's talk about it for a little bit. Because the thin line tellies you will start to see in the late part of the 1960s. I believe 68 being the first year. But that will be the Series 1 thin lines. The distinction between the Series 1 and the Series 2 is going to be the pickups. So um, Series 1 are gonna look like a regular Telecaster. We're gonna have the regular ashtray bridge with the slanted single coil pickup and the regular neck pickup here. That's the earliest version. A lot of those are mahogany bodies too. Some were ash, um, but those are gonna be 68, 69, 70, 71. 71 is when they start to redesign it. So in 72, that's when we first see the Telecaster Custom, like the Keith Custom with the wide range. It's the first year we see the Deluxe, and it's the first year we see the Series 2 thin line, which they unveiled in 72, which is basically the same thin line body, changed up the dimensions and the shape of the pit guard a little bit, and they gave us two of those revolutionary wide range Seth Lover designed humbucking pickups. And then of course with that comes the rest of your 70s accoutrement, like the three bolt neck, and of course the bullet truss rod, and the long, block letter decal. Okay. Okay, all right. But they did these cool, man. It's just basically a hardtail strat bridge, three-way switch, just a master volume and master tone on these guys. They weigh practically nothing. Um, the Tele Customs you will see with rosewood fingerboards, but the, um, the deluxes and the thin lines, you only are gonna see the maple. They didn't uh, give you a choice on those guitars. So they're all gonna be maple. I'm sure they did do some, some colors natural, Black, sunburst, obviously being common. White on a little bit more on the, the funky side, although there are some other custom color ones floating around there too that look kind of cool. Uh, but love these in colors. Not a minty guitar. It's picked up, obviously, some edge wear and some, some fading uh, on the finish. And, of course, there's a couple, just I want to point out, a couple small little hairline things around the neck joint here. Everything's stable, but just want you to see them. A um, couple of big dings in the paint here and here. Well, it's got original hard shell case with it as well. It's a cool guitar, pickups sound great. Wide range humbuckers, pretty much the only thing uh, in the 70s that I like that they did. I like all the guitars that they did them on. Um, really, really great sounding pickup for Fender. Really, really enjoy them on a Telecaster. Why don't we go to the couch, plug this guy in, see if it goes up to chapter 11. Let's turn it up to chapter 11. Uh, let's go <laughs> plug it in, see what this thing can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1978 Fender Series 2 Telecaster Thin Line. Original Olympic white finish gone buttery yellow. Two of those wide range Seth Lover humbuckers maple neck. Uh, we are going through 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue from Fender today, all EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Also got the uh, full tone OCD out. 
just to hit the front end a little bit harder. Why don't we start up there on that neck wide range humbucking pickup. See what we got going. <laughs> Position. Got a combination of both of these wide range humbucking pickups together. Let's see what we got. Humbucking pickup all by itself. Get the OCG back on again here. Wide open. Here we go. <laughs> Original Fender Series 2 Thin Line Telecaster, two of the wide range humbucking pickups, maple neck. Original Olympic white finish, original hard shell case. There's your Tele Tuesday for this week. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And of course, check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And we'll see you guys back again tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye.